promised. We're back with Pitmaster Jim Johnson. Ron's over there, you know, creaming the cheese dip in his face. Good stuff, good stuff. It's so good, isn't it? It's awesome. Great job, Jim. It's a Jim. meal in itself. It's, it's hard to stop. You it know, really is. That is really good. Once you get started, you can't stop. Right. So I put mine over there just to get <laughs> out of my way. Now, we have before us a very colorful, patriotic dessert. Tell yeah. us about it, Jim. Let's in the summer, we're coming up and everything, and we, we always do the red, white, blue stuff. So this way, it's just going to be light and refreshing. In the summer, it's hot. Everybody's looking for a little time off. We've got the burgers. We've got the brats. We've got the cheese dip. We've got all that. Now we need something light and lively. So this is going to be blackberries and blueberries on the bottom. And then in the center is yogurt. So we use right. uh, vanilla yogurt. And then I slice strawberries, put on top, put some granola on it, and drizzle it with honey. So oh, that granola, is, nice touch. That's yeah, a yeah, great yeah, idea. Really well, nice. you know, I was going to put mint or something and everything, and I thought that's not red, white, and blue. So granola's going to look good. Yeah, it, it turns out. It some crust to it. It adds that crust. A lot of oh, times I will do crunch. walnuts and put crushed right. uh, yes. chopped up walnuts on top and everything. But in this particular case, the granola just adds that nice flavor touch to it, the honey. Mm. And then you don't oh, have, you know, and you've got the, the yogurt, so you don't have to worry too much about uh, any sweeteners, so no, the fruit's going to be sweetened up. Yes. The fruit's already going to be naturally sweet. Right. Uh, the honey's just going to add that little touch of sweetness that you need. Right. And then once you do that, boom. You're you know there. what? I'm Great really like. I'm I'm pleasantly surprised because I thought at first I was seeing walnuts, right. but I do love this granola. Right. And there's kind of right. got a little chewy yep. Yep. flavor exactly. in there. And did you you had honey, right? I did. I just drizzled a little bit of honey over the top, just just a little. You know, this is a great dish. I love the fact that it's red, white, and blue. You know, and, and so the fact that, cool. that it's, it's, so, it's so and, light. And, and yeah. it's so light. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you're just going to enjoy it and everything. You know, and I'm already doing that. <laughs> with, the, with the different fruits. Mm. We go. Summer, we're out. It's the end of summer. The, the, it's over with. Uh, we want something the light. The last hurrah. It, it is. It's the last big hurrah. We still have good weather coming because we we'll have uh, we'll have warm weather to, into October, right. you know, October, October, November. Is weather matter. Exactly. Yeah. So, but you, you know. can. It's beautiful. You can serve this to your guests and yep. be happy yep. about it. And if anybody had like food issues. There's no nuts in there. Exactly. That's the reason I took the walnuts off and everything for nut issues and things like that. And the granola is just a nice touch to it. Yeah. Uh, it's something you can make the day before, refrigerate it. Oh, and that then, was my know, next question. That makes it easier because then you can spend time uh, out grilling, doing, spending time with your friends. Oh, well, now we need something to cool off with. Boom. You know, that's one of the things a lot of people, when you have people over, and a lot of people will have people over yeah. on Labor Day, it's getting everything ready and just right exactly. at right. the same time. And exactly. still enjoy your party and your friends exactly. rather than being you know, chained to the... And one of the refreshing right things before, we can do, and I didn't do it, and it may, we may do it at a future show, take a, a navel orange, cut the top of it off, yep, hollow out the, the pulp and everything, put it in a bowl, with uh, just scoop it out, and then squeeze it and get all the juice and everything, and then take orange sherbet, let it soften a little bit, Put the orange sherbet and then the orange juice back in it, mound it up, put it in the freezer overnight, right. and then the next day, when and serve it in a martini glass. And it's really kind of cool. I love that. And it's very refreshing. You know, pool parties, uh, after a hot barbecue or whatever. So a whole, onion, uh, a whole orange, mm -hmm. and then you add some of the pulp back to the orange yeah. sherbet, and then you mound it up so it looks really pretty. And then sometimes take part of the portion of the uh, the top that you cut off and put it at an angle and, and slice it in there. And, and when you freeze it, it all just makes a great presentation. Do you wrap it when you freeze it? You don't need to. Okay. Don't you need forgot to. to mention the vodka that you put in. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we won't freeze. Yeah, you won't vodka. freeze. You add that in the glass vodka later. later. Yeah. Yeah. So Afterwards. from that standpoint, you're just in a situation, you know, where you got something really nice and refreshing. Yeah, there you go. Jim, you As always this. bring the flavor. How can people see your recipes? Uh, BBQ by jimjohnson.com. You'll go there. You'll see all the recipes. And uh, if you have any questions, reach out. Reach out to the station here. We'll get an answer back to you. And uh, if you have any questions, it's just tips and tricks. And we just want to make your cookouts more enjoyable. And you always, always do. do. <laughs> Never Thank disappointing. You. Thank you. We'll be back with more lifestyles. Try all of this. Try it all. Yes.